Have you ever wondered how a transit works? Let me show you. Here we go. Yeah. Wow. Hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple Live Free and a transit is an indispensable tool that's used for several things. They use it in surveying. I don't really know a whole lot about how they use it there, but they all we also use it in construction work to make sure that everything is level. And it's an absolutely indispensable tool. It's very difficult to do anything uh, setting up a foundation and make sure everything is level without a transit. With a transit, you can take a sighting on one point, one corner of a house, you go down to the other corner of the house 50 feet away and take a sighting there and you can tell exactly if they're level or not. So how does that work? Let me show you. So first of all you set it up on a tripod. This is on concrete but you got to make sure that the tripod is not going to move. And then the transit here will actually pivot on top of the tripod. But you need to make sure that the, tri that the transit is completely level. So there's a little bubble level right here that you can see and then you can see it in a mirror right here. I don't know if I can show you that, get it in focus. But that will allow you to know when the transit is completely level. So that way you can take a sighting over here at one point and then you turn the level and you can take another sighting over there and if this is completely level then it'll give you the same reading. So what am I shooting? What am I looking at? I'll show you. So this is the measuring stick. I'm sure it has a specific name. I just call it the stick. <laughs> it starts at the bottom with the measurements and it comes up. So here we see six feet, seven feet, eight feet, and on up like that. Now most of the time you would have an assistant it just walks around the, the foundation, putting the stick on different places to measure it. Uh, I don't have a, uh, an assistant right now, so it makes it much more difficult. So I have to find things to prop it up on. So I use the ladder there to prop it up. And over here, I'm going to shoot the depth of the footer right there. So I have it leaning against the house. You want to get it as straight as possible. This is leaning a little bit. You want to get it as straight as possible so you can get an accurate measurement. So then I'm just going to sight into the transit. Got to take my glasses off so I can see the numbers. You sight into the transit and you look at that stick and you read the numbers on the stick. Hard to get this in focus for the camera, but there is a crosshairs in there, and that looks like it's eight feet and about a quarter of an inch. And then I move the stick from the corner of the house over to there, leaning against the ladder, and I take a look at it again. And it looks like I got it's hard to show you in the camera. Eight feet and about half an inch. So now I know that my footers are, are quite level. They're only a quarter of an inch off. When I measure at the corner of the house, it was eight feet and a quarter inch. When I measure over here, it's eight feet and a half inch. So the one that's, that's bigger number, that means that the footer is a quarter of an inch lower because that gives a higher number then. So I'm only off a quarter of an inch between the corner of the wall and over here. And so I will do that all the way around and I'll try to get it absolutely as level as I possibly can. Um, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, doing a footer like this 
quarter of an inch is no big deal. You can easily make that up in the thickness of the mortar between the blocks as you put them in. But I will go all the way around the foundation as I put the footers in and try to get them absolutely as level as I can. And that's how you use a transit. It would be almost impossible to get those footers level without a transit. Now this is an old school transit where you sight through it. They do now have new ones that are laser transits and they're pretty cool. You get them all level and you turn them on and there's a thing inside that spins and it sends out a laser. And the laser, if you get the unit level, the laser is completely level. So like if you are uh, inside, for instance, and you want to put a level mark along the top of a wall uh, where you want to bring a paneling up to that or something like that. You turn that on and it just puts a laser line right across the wall that's completely level and then you can just mark it. Or out here you just hold up the stick and it shows the laser light on the stick and you write it down then you just move the stick over and then you, you write it down again. One person can do that because you get it started then you just walk around with the stick and take sightings at different places. It's really cool. But I don't, I've had this for years and I just don't do enough of it anymore to uh, justify spending the money for a new laser transit when this is probably the last job I'm going to do like this anyway. So <clears throat> laser transits are cool, but this works just as good as it always has. So I hope uh, you found that interesting if you've never known how a transit works. Thanks for watching. Live simple, live free. You be blessed. We'll see you next time. Eating our roses.